Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 59 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay, let's head through this door. Go through here. That twisted piece of shit. I'm gonna enjoy beating him to a pole. Corneo's mine, and mine alone. Oh? Huh? Please. Fine. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this and flip it. And as you can see, it lowered the water level in an area. And it's an area that we've actually just passed. So we're gonna go back. I actually tried doing this two ways because you can actually reach this by going forward again. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> uh, are there more? Yeah, there's more here. Oh, the reason the Shinra crates are back is yes, because I loaded the game, which means I think something, I said earlier in the episode that like if you load, the Shinra crates don't have anything. I guess that was wrong, sorry. Uh, okay, skip that one. We'll go through here. When we were chasing the Abzu Shote, or the Mischievous Shote, I should say, uh, you could have continued further up. Well, you couldn't have. The game doesn't let you get a pair of protective boots there. I don't know why. We've already got that. And if we... If you remember, we're still doing this Corneo Secret Stash quest. So this is the last one. So... But before we do this, I want to actually set up my party slightly differently. And you know what? I'm going to save just so I know. Um, this only for this particular fight. It's honestly it's worth it. So switch out fire elemental. No, sorry. Switch out ice HP absorption for fire and magnify. Give yeah. Have assess. Has, have you got first strike? Who's got first strike? You do. No, you don't. Hmm. Okay. Let's swap out steadfast block for the good first strike and we'll give you assess instead yeah and then we'll give you ATV boost is that right I think that's right yeah that's good and then finally so time HP absorption doesn't really matter ice synergy is not gonna work so you know what let's give her fire as well why not <laughs> this should be this is gonna be the biggest explosion of all time Okay, so open this. Let's see if this works out well. Walk down here. Do and we're going to fight a Sahajin Prince, which is an elevated version of Sahajin. So in order to start things off, use Assess. And then have Cloud use Fyraga on the Sahajin Prince. Okay, and now it says, a prince of the sewer-dwelling Sahajin. He wields a special lance that symbolizes his royal status and is more powerful than that of a typical Sahajin. He believes his species must take control of the surface world if they are to thrive. His stagger gauge cannot normally be affected, but when he becomes but he becomes susceptible to staggering when in counter-attack mode. His counter-attacks are aborted when he is staggered. Uh, I don't even know if he's going to have time for that, because... <laughs> Did he not die? Oh, he didn't die. Oh, okay. Alright, well then, why don't you have this one as well? <laughs> How did he not die? Alright, well he's dead anyway, but... I'm surprised he didn't die from the first attack. Okay, so you can collect a bunch of stuff here. Marco shards. I didn't even heal, I just realized. Okay, that worked out well. Here we go. Okay then. Y'all think we got everything? Question is, now what? It's not gonna be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Marl? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to. Okay, so in that uh, little urn, we collected the Emerald Tiara, which was the final thing we needed to actually complete that quest. Got an elixir here, a bunch of, uh, what is that, Maiden's Kiss, Ether, Moogle Metal, and two Maiden's Kisses, and another Enfeeblement Ring. We've, ha we've had that one before. Okay, so now let's switch everything back. So we want Fire Elemental, we want time magnify. We want ice. No, we want, hang on. This fire. We want ice HP absorption. There we go. And we want that one to be lightning. Oh, we were only a few points off. That's fine. We can deal with that later. And you don't need assess anymore, you need ATV boost. I think that's correct. Let me have a quick look. Fire elemental ice HP absorption lightning, that's good. Time magnify healing wind burn, yep. 
And fire synergy revive wave. Yep. Look at revival. It's already on 572. That was on like 31 when we started this area. Poison's going well. You know what? Poison doesn't even need. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So we did that. I hope there's enough time to finish this chapter in this episode, but I don't know because I'm actually not sure how long the cutscenes are, but we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, because, yeah, it, there's not too much left in this chapter, but I was actually worried I wouldn't have enough content for this episode, but then I was like, actually, no, this, this goes for a little while. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Run, 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 run. And now we can finally climb up. If I can. There we go. So we got the pendant, which means Leslie still had the key all along. It's hard to say. Well, this little like duct looks a lot like um, the Evil Within, actually. <laughs> Just as I was about to crouch down and enter towards the beginning of that game. God, I love the Evil Within. It's such a good game. They need to make three. I, I know there's like a whole bunch of stuff with. Um, like Bethesda and Tango Gameworks and all the all that stuff, but they really need to make it. It's so good. It deserves it. All right, Leslie, let's go. Run, 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 run. Yeah, Leslie's an interesting character. He he wasn't really a bad guy. He was just kind of doing his job, and then they give him a nice backstory as well. All right, so here is the door we need to enter. But first, let's go in here and use that rest bench. <laughs> this was actually the one that we used earlier. We need to use it again, because this next fight is... It's not that bad, but yeah. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's pretty much fine with the setup that I've got. All right. Talk to Leslie. Oh, just approach him. Wait outside. Wait outside? What do you mean, wait outside? Okay. Okay. <laughs> When, oh, there's another rest bench in here. I forgot about that. All right, let's see. It's Leslie. Got some urgent info for the Don. Mm -hmm. Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Leslie. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh. 
First him, then Corneo. Okay, one thing I didn't do was I, I probably should have done the fire magnifier strategy for this. It's not really the biggest deal in the world, so I'm gonna try and do what I can. I'm gonna use, uh, let's use firers on the Abzu Shotes. I like to try and, okay, maybe just fire. <laughs> that was uh, basically a one shot. Yeah, just use fire, fire on the Abzu Shotes. I like to take them all out first, because this Abzu is not as hard as the first one. But he's still a little on the tricky side, so you know, just hit him with regular attacks. Okay, cool. So now we want to hit his horn. So let's go with a just go fire. Why not? Cool. So he's pressured now. So let's have Barrett use focus shot. Tifa can use focus strike, and I'll use focus thrust. Or. Uh, that's fine. Jeez, he lost all of his health. Is he already on phase two? That's insane. Okay, more of them. So let's use regular fire on C. Come on, Tifa. Can I please? Thank you. I was like, I just needed a little bit more. Let's go F. Go Tifa. Yes, everything destroyed. Hmm. Tailspin, watch out for that. Actually, it can do quite a bit of damage. He's just too weak compared to us. Fyra on the right horn. Nice. Tifa, use focus strike. Oh, whoops. There we go. Don't even know if she reached that. Focus shot. Okay, cool. We got the stagger. Unbridled strength on Tifa. Switch to her. Unbridled strength one more time. Okay, let's have... Oh, he's already done. Okay, third and final phase. Let's switch back to Cloud. Fire on this guy. Need to shout for this. <laughs> Funny diving tackle. Fire on this guy. Go Tifa. Hard stuff coming through. You, you pretty much really want to take out these absolute shots because they're worth good uh, AP. Well, they're worth two, but there's a lot of them. Damn. Done. Yeah, I think that's it. So it's just him left, all right? Let me just check. Yep. Let's hit his tail. So let's go with Fyraga. Nice. <laughs> okay, that pressured him. Tifa, get in there with a focus strike. Barrett, get in there with a focus shot. I'll get in there with a focus thrust. Try and take out that tail. He's pretty much dead. I don't even think I can stagger him. Here we go. Regular Fyra. That's it. Crippled the tail. Let's go with another fire art, Tifa. Why don't you get in there with the uh, Omni Strike and he's dead? <laughs> Game is stuck. <laughs> okay, we did it. That was a pretty good fight. Yeah, no need to assess that guy, by the way. You okay? Where's Cornell? Sorry, bastard got away. It's fine. I'll 
I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> she could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. Okay. Uh, you don't really need to do this, but you can un unlock this door here. Just so it's accessible. And now we're going to head up the ladder. Nice, we are so close to completing chapter 14, we've got a cutscene or two, and then I'll just finish off the rest, so this will be perfect. Hopefully. <laughs> ah, taste that sweet Midgar small. <laughs> this way. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order. Just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone too. That right. Hope you find them. You too. Okay, fantastic. And if we wait just a second, all right. So when we're outside here, we have the option to return to Marl to complete Corneo's secret stash, and we should take this. So let's say yes. There was an urn just outside, uh, or just to the on the right hand side during that previous cutscene. But don't worry, we'll come straight back. Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector Seven rebuild. The angel of the slums. You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me. What was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. A book about sword, the sword art of swordplay for me specifically? Of course I can use it more than you. <laughs> okay, did I get anything special here? The iron blade is up to six, so is the nail bat, the hard edge has four, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, cool, so let's finish this thing off. What we need to do now is head over here to the Chocobo thing, and we're going to go back to the urban advancement district, which is basically where we just were. Let's skip this thing. So we're going to do a handful more things, and we'll be done. Let's start by heading down here, grabbing this urn. It contains... Three Moogle medals, hooray! How many do we have? Um, 30, wow. <laughs> uh, and also, sorry, I just realized that I forgot to show the Emerald Tiara uh, before handing it in. 
Okay, the next thing, let me just think for a second. Where am I? It's not too far away. I'm gonna head over to Chadley. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back here at Chadley. I think I'm actually gonna purchase another wind material to sell that out. And I think I'm gonna also get another steadfast block. I actually think these two will come in very handy. I've got a lot of gill. I don't particularly see myself using parry anymore. Um, although it is very cheap. Yeah, I don't know. We definitely don't need another assess material and HP absorptions. Mm, I don't know, maybe in the future we'll need it, but for right now, I don't think so. But wind, having three wind and three steadfast block, I think that's a very good idea. All right, we'll head back. I'll just show you obviously the way back. That way you know how I got to Chadley, but it was pretty simple. Just follow the path and you'll be back at War Market and you know uh, that it's not the right way. This way. All right, so we'll do the last few things. We'll get the last cutscene for chapter 14 and next time we start chapter 15. So finally, after all that time, chapter 14 is done. Yeah, it took, took quite a while, but pretty confident it's the longest chapter in the game. So we have 15 is pretty short and I haven't had a chance to, I'm pretty much, my practice is up to 16. There's 18 altogether, so 16, 17, and 18 are a little lengthy, but not too bad. Oh, huh, what's this? Let's pick it up. Letter from the Guardian Angel obtained, and an elemental materia obtained. Huh, interesting. Let's have a read of that. Key items. Um, letter from the Guardian Angel. Merc. I saw what you did for the people here, and on behalf of those you've helped, I just wanted to say thanks. You've shone a bit of sunlight on this dreary town. I attached a little something to this letter. It's not much, but I figured it might come in handy. Don't forget, you've got an angel watching over you now. The guardian and angel of the slums. Awesome. All right, let's go over here, get our cutscene. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. <laughs> but that was before I figured it out. What? All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? Yay! Chapter 14 complete, picking up the pieces. And this will be chapter 15, and we'll leave that for next time. It's called The Day Midgar Stood Still. Awesome title. All right, well, for now, I guess I want to thank you all for watching episode 59 of Lost Pattern Final Fantasy VII Remake. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.